were at AVN 2015 sitting here with Stormy Daniels. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Now, what have you been doing the last year here? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Fill me in. Give me all the trash. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is, I'm starting my 13th year with Wicked Pictures. No way. Yeah. Wait, I just gave away how old I am. No, you didn't. You started when you were 18, right? We'll go with that. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. Uh, this year, I wrote 11 movies, directed 10, and starred in six. That's that's a lot. <laughs> that's a whole lot because they were all features. Oh, no. um, so I've been very, very busy, but I've done a lot of great projects this year. Uh, five Passions movies for our Passions line, okay. our, our romance uh, line. And then I also shot uh, an all-girl movie, which is the first one I've shot in years, called Girls' Night. That's going to be coming out very soon. That's apropos. I was actually editing it in my hotel room this morning at 4 a.m. Oh, God. No, no. <laughs> yes. You know how many people are shooting at 4 a.m. here? <laughs> you know? I was editing a movie at 4 a.m. Okay, you're editing. They're shooting. And, uh, and I shot this big action movie this year. Uh, it comes out next month. It's called Pretty Dangerous. Now, tell me about this one. What is this? Um, this is sort of a uh, Charlie's Angels-esque kind of thing, mm -hmm. except that uh, we're bad instead of good like Charlie's Angels. And uh, I have uh, Annika Albright, Ali Hayes, yep. and Asa are my... I hate to use the word minion, but it just sounds so good. <laughs> and uh, we are jewel thieves, and I'm trying to get all these jewels that go in a box and then unlocks. And you'll have to watch the movie to find out. Well, I, I was lucky enough. I was on set that day when you guys were shooting. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into making movies. Yeah. So much stuff. And you know what? That is my biggest pet peeve when people, when I'll, like, you know, I'll tweet or I'll put online or people say, oh, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm working on the script. Oh, what are you doing? You're right. Ooh, ah, ah, yeah. I'm like, I would crawl through this computer and punch you in the throat right now if you knew what I actually yeah. go through. You know, um, it's not easy. The, the script was 45 pages. I wrote the whole thing. I produced the whole movie. I, all the wardrobe, all the props, all the locations, directing, editing. I do it all. And it makes me crazy when people think that it's, oh, it's so easy. All you do is direct porn. Now, we, now you, you were at a mansion. And, and I, I remember when I got there, I'm like, God, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, holy shit, what are all these people doing? Then I'm watching them start working. It's like, oh, I get it now. Yeah, everybody has a job. Most people have two or three jobs. Yes. Um, that's the cool thing about working an adult is that there's no union. So everybody, when they're working on a project, especially a cool one, like Pretty Dangerous that the crew's excited about, um, everybody helps. Everybody does everything. Um, so one of my PAs was also the uh, the stunt choreographer and one of the actors. You know, I wrote it, directed it, starred in it. Um, you know, the photographer had a you know was driving the boat one of the scenes. It's yeah, and the gun guy was there. I remember the gun guy. With yeah, all the, the, guns. the gun guy. Yeah, he was he was very excited. Oh, I I, I thought so too. Yeah, a little too excited. <laughs> he goes, when you take a picture of the gun, make sure it's turned around and one of the serial number. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember that now. And uh, we just finished the editing it. Uh, it came out great. I'm really happy. But with it. it looks very interesting to me. I mean, it looks very cool. I want to see the finished product. Uh, yeah, it, I just saw it last week, like the total, complete finished finish with all the special effects and, and everything. And I did my own stunts. And uh, nice. Asa, I, I, don't, I don't know if she's forgiven me yet. Uh-oh. What did you do to her? I, I made her cry twice. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Asa's so nice. Why'd you make her cry? Well... Because the trick to Asa is that uh, she looks like a bad bitch, mm -hmm. but she's kind of a scaredy cat. Oh, so you no. never tell Asa what she's going to be doing until about 30 seconds before you do it. And we hung her upside down and had her repel in through a ceiling into a, into a safe. And uh, she looks so sexy doing it, too. I could see her doing it. Yeah, that. and the cat. Oh, it was hot. And then uh, we actually rented a cigarette boat. Oh. And went out in the ocean and shot like these really cool chase scenes, and we oh, let. Neat. And uh, Annika was fine with it. Annika did her own underwater scuba diving stunts, stunts and uh, Allie Hayes drove the boat. Oh, cool! Also cried in the boat. Oh no! <laughs> She's like, I hate you, Stormy. You know, I'm probably interviewing her next. I can ask, give her shit. Ask her about it. Ask her. She'll tell you how much she hates me. Okay. And I got the best compliment that I've ever gotten. What's that? Brad Armstrong would never make me do this. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's not right. That's not right. I was very excited about that. Very cool. Very cool. So, so do you like do you like um, like being the the mastermind behind the scenes more than being on the scene? Oh, definitely. I get to yell at naked people. It doesn't get any better than that. Well, um, it's definitely a it's a lot of work and it's a lot more stressful when you're in the when you're just an actress in a movie. You're only responsible for yourself. When you're the director, you're responsible for 
everyone and everything. And I'm the one that has to go back and tell the boss um, that I cost him some money uh, or, yeah. or that something happened and it's, it's all on me. So it's a lot more stressful, but by the same token, it's a lot more rewarding. Well, well, how do you do it when you're actually in the movie that you're directing? Mm -hmm. Because I remember being on the set and people bringing things to you, Stormy, Stormy, you know, and they're asking you questions and then, and then, oh yeah, I got to be in the scene too. So right. you're answering questions, you're dealing with all that and you're in the movie. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like that's all I do all day is answer questions. Uh, what do I do with this? Yeah. It's uh, when I do the dialogue scenes or the action scenes, like the fight scenes or whatever, we'll do a few takes until I feel that is right. like it was right. And then I'll watch the playback. That's the cool thing about shooting now on, um, you know, not having to Digital, wait for, yeah. yeah, you can, I can watch the playback. And then uh, the trick to doing the sex scenes is, oh, here's the trick guys, is I put the monitor where I can see it. Ah. So I place it and then uh, I just have a pretty good feel when the camera's not on my face. I check the monitor <laughs> <laughs> to make sure. And uh, I feel really kind of bad about whoever I'm doing the scene with at the time because the guy will be looking at me and I'll be all into it. And then as soon as I feel the camera pan off You're my face, I'm like, oh, I need to point my toe. Okay. Oh all right. my God. <laughs> you know, so it's the ultimate selfie. <laughs> there you go. That's, yep. You said it better than wow. I could. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's cool. So, so have any of your movies been up for awards this year? Uh, yeah, I have. Uh, uh, quite a few up. I think I have three in best comedy. Uh, the wow. real, the real thing is up for best comedy, which is a really cool movie because it features my real doll. Oh, nice. Yeah, and nice. she and I play the doll. Obviously, she comes to life and uh, creates all this. Kind of like weird science, but you know. correlate weird science cross with a mannequin. Oh, nice. Sort nice. of like that. Nice. And then um, I have uh, Feeling Lucky is up for uh, best movie with uh, stars Asa. Okay. And uh, my movie Switch is up for best comedy. I think that's the funniest thing I directed last year. It's me and Michael Vegas switch bodies. Now, yeah, I remember you talking about that last year, and yeah, that's that a was, very strange concept there. Uh, that was a lot of fun. And uh, Michael Vegas did a very good Stormy Daniels. He's up for best actor for it. <laughs> nice, um, nice. I'm not really sure what that means. Yeah, <laughs> that he does uh, Stormy very well. Uh, he pulled it off. He, he pulled it off. And then, of course, uh, a lot of my passions movies are up for best couples, the best romance. Uh, Movie. Now, explain to me the passion line. What is the passion line? Um, the passion line, it is uh, geared uh, more towards couples. Yes, all Wicked movies are, are geared towards couples, but um, it has the same high production value as all of our movies, but it features a little bit more of the guy so that the woman oh, viewer can see. enjoy it a little I more. See. So instead of really like kind of like... Being so a, instead of just as an ass and... Yeah. Yeah. Um, we really focus on the chemistry and the connection oh, okay. um, between the couple and the stories are more love stories. There's no uh, extreme hardcore close-ups. Um, it's sort of a baby step into porn. Okay. If that makes sense. It's I got you. I got you. It's uh, it's like a romance novel. It's, it's kind of it's kind of sometimes what you well back in the day when you used to get the 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 like uh, pseudo uh, sex movies at the yeah. hotels. It's know. like that, but better, better writing. Yeah, um, I'd hope so. <laughs> yeah, those are horrible. And there's no um, it's strictly couples in the movies. It's one on one boy girl scenes. So there's no anal. Oh, okay. There's no okay. girl girl. There's no um, you know boy boy girl. It's it's strictly about the chemistry between a a boy and a girl. You know, real people have anal too. I keep saying that, but this is, they want, they want this one to be, um, I don't know, kinder, gentler, <laughs> kind of gentle. Well, maybe make the, the, the passions extreme version. There we go. I think that's a wicked there movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what do you got planned for, for this next year? What, do, what are oh, your goals yes. for the next year? Um, I just renewed my contract, so I'll be directing another, Yay. another 10 movies. Uh, for Wicket, five of which will be the Passion series, which uh, I directed all their movies last year. I have another big movie um, in the works. It's my dream movie that I've oh, been no. waiting years and years and years and years to shoot. Uh, it is uh, Western. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Very excited about that. And uh, I also am doing a uh, all stormy movie, which I've never really done. Hmm. And I, I'm gonna That's be cool. I'm gonna be holding uh, a fan contest to write one of the scenes. Ah. Yeah. So they get to write what you're gonna do in the scene. Well, it's gonna be a little contest, yeah. Oh, that's cool. And I'll be in every scene, and it's it's you know one of the star showcase movies. Very cool. Very cool. So what do you like to do when you're here at ABN? <sighs> Besides edit movies at four in the morning. Right. No rest for the wicked. Yeah. Well. <laughs> um, you must use that a lot. I do. Here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, well, the best part is 
uh, actually meeting fans that I've been talking to online all year. So actually putting a face to a name is pretty cool. And then um, obviously getting to, to hang out with everybody in the business when we're yeah. not, when I'm not yelling at them. Being a director, yes, like yes. I never really get to hang out because I have to, you know, captain the ship. You You're know. always moving on to the next thing. Yeah. And, uh, but I also like to get feedback Oh, from sure. from the uh, from the fans and I have a lot of because I've started doing these passions movies I have a lot of couples fans and I really like to hear like what worked for them that they like cool. to watch together it's grassroots marketing at its finest you know they co did come up and say oh I really loved the scene in this movie and oh you know it'd be a really good idea what we'd really like to see and um, so it's always that's always fun yeah that uh, if you really think about it most most directors don't get that kind of in in this industry they don't get that kind of feedback or market right. testing you know. Yeah. That's that's a good way to do that. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Come and meet him. Is there anything else that, you sh that I should promote or tell people about before I let you go? Um, I don't want to be slacking my job here. There you go. Uh, no, uh, you can find me on uh, find my schedule on on Twitter. Of course, I post all my bookings. I have dance bookings and movie releases and everything. Yeah, you're still dancing too. Of course, yeah, at least once a month. Really? Yeah, I love to dance. That's you know, I started doing porn because I liked dancing so much, and then it turns out I like this just as much. Well, there you go. See, so you, they can see you feature dance at uh, the different clubs around the country, and then yeah. oh, that's cool. Which is you know awesome uh, for meeting the fans too and getting feedback. It keeps you in shape that way. Get that, on that pole and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you do a lot of pole work, or is it mostly forward work? No, I don't look so good upside down. My boobs fall on my face. It's not a good look. Some people like that. Mm, not me. It, well, maybe if it was in their face. Okay, well, that's a different story. <laughs> All right, so where can they find you on, online if uh, they go to Wicked? Wickedpictures.com, of course. Uh, StormyDaniels.com. Okay. And, and then my Twitter is uh, twitter.com slash StormyDaniels. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Thank you.